Black Ops 4 Zombies. Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe it? What's going on guys? My name's Chopper and welcome back everybody to a brand new video. In this one, we're going to be discussing so much stuff today regarding Black Ops 4 Zombies. And I don't know, man, it feels so good to say that. So pretty much yesterday, we ended up getting the actual reveal for this game. And we figured out that Black Ops 4 is coming out on October the 12th. And this is really big because Call of Duty, ever since the beginning, has always come out around November. It's never been October, and I do believe that this is record-breaking for the franchise. We're also going to be getting a community reveal event on May 17th, and right now it is currently mid-March. So, until then, we had this small reveal right now, and until the big reveal where they're going to show us gameplay, probably a full-on blown trailer, we're going to have to wait until then, but this is all the information that we have to work with. But, believe it or not, we know an absolute ton of information about zombies already. The two big things that I want to discuss today are going to be the map on disc, and then, of course, what's going to be the pre-order bonus that, that we all know as Mob of the Dead remade or remastered. Now, I think it's pretty much out of the question at this point that Mob of the Dead isn't coming back, you know what I mean? It's been probably the worst kept secret in history, we've had it teased throughout so many interviews, and this information is deliberately put out there for us to hype up, so I think it's more of a question of what Mob of the Dead is going to look like rather than if it's coming back. And of course, aside from that, the other thing we need to talk about is the on-disc map. Now, a lot of people are speculating this to be the London map, and the reason for that being is we had back in Derizendrock, DLC 1 for Black Ops 3, in fact, there was a newspaper talking about a zombie attack in London, there was a few radios in Shadows of Evil talking about that as well, but we never end up seeing it within the DLC season, so that's why a lot of people think that is going to be the other, like, the, the base map on disc. And while that's not a bad idea at all, I feel like that's the easy way out, and Trey is always about doing what we don't expect so I don't think it's gonna be London to be honest. Think about something like Shadows of Evil on the release of Black Ops 3. We had no prior hints or knowledge as to that was coming for us and it was a brand new crew, brand new environment, so many different new mechanics that changed the way that we play zombies forever and that was the on disc map right so it's either going to polarize a lot of people, some people will love it and some people will hate it and I feel like that's what Treyarch does best. You know what I mean? The innovation in this game I feel like is gonna be very high as well. When you really think about it, Jason Blundell has always had the courage to try something new with zombies. Whether whether it's a hit or it's a miss with the community, nonetheless, he still gives it a go and sees how we react to it. Zetsubo no Shima was developed by Jason Blundell, but like people granted some people do love that map but for the most part i'd say the majority of people would say that that is the worst map in black ops 3 but it was very experimental for the time and he said that i i can quote him in some interviews that he that without the implementation of the things in zetsubo no Shima, a lot of the other maps in black ops 3 and the things that they did would not even have been possible so he was kind of laying some ground to, to make way for even better maps that we've all come to know and love so i'm going to come out and say it right now i think that when it comes to black ops 4 when we have our map on disc and we have our Mob of the Dead remake, remaster, you know, whatever you want to call it. It can go by a lot of different names. But when you take those two together, Mob of the Dead is going to be the classic zombies experience. And whatever the map on disc is, whether it's London or whether it's something completely different, is going to be brand new, something that we've never expected zombies to go in. And uh, it's going to be an entirely new direction. And as weird as it might sound, I want the Black Ops 4 Zombies trailer to make us worried or scare us a little bit. And I've talked about this before, but if you guys remember seeing the Shadows of Evil trailer for the first time, that freaked a lot of people out like it didn't even look like zombies but as it turns out now shadows is probably my favorite map like as we speak so you have your two different experiences on disc on day one at launch. I assume that the Mob of the Dead remake is going to have to be a pre-order bonus, similarly to how the Giant was for Black Ops 3 Zombies. We had that as the classic quote-unquote zombies experience, and then we had our brand new innovative map, Shadows of Evil. And I don't, and you know, regardless of what you fear about Shadows, this was a very innovative map for its time, and it tried new things. And I feel like it, it aged very well, and now people look back on Shadows as probably one of the greats, if not some of people's favorite maps, but definitely up there. So guys, don't be afraid afraid of Treyarch trying something new this time around because the only way that zombies going to keep going is if they innovate and do do new things that do stick with the community and that we overall enjoy. That being said, the implementation of something like new game modes is huge for people. This has been a massive request since Black Ops 2, and the reason why Blundell didn't put it in Black Ops 3, we have his actual answer from him himself, is because it didn't really make sense with the storyline. He wanted to keep everything canon, and I feel like he might be retaining that to some extent in Black Ops 4, but he's going to have a little fun with the game mode, and I, I could probably see a lot of different game modes like turned or coming back or anything brand new, maybe even a battle royale. I don't really know how you guys feel about that 
that subject uh, about new game modes and specifically a battle royale coming to multiplayer or zombies. I don't know if it would really work in zombies now that I'm thinking about it, but if you guys have any ideas for new game modes or how battle royale would actually work out in Call of Duty, let me know in the comment section because I, I, I want to get a little discussion going about that because it is a big point of interest as battle royale is huge at the moment. Fortnite and PUBG both have massive player bases and of course this is going to attract the attention of a lot of different developers. Another thing coming back that I think we can guarantee is going to make a reappearance is some kind of gumball system within Black Ops 4. Now, it was hugely successful in Black Ops 3. Now, the reason why they have to have gumballs, regardless of what you feel about this as well, some people love them, some people think that they break the game. In my opinion, you don't ever have to play with gobblegums if you don't want to, so you can just play uh, a no gobblegum run, a classic zombies experience, and that's at your own disclosure. But some people like to play with the gumballs, and I personally think it adds a lot of replayability. You can do different fun things with them, and... Uh, that's one of the big things I'm not really a big fan of World War II's consumables is that they don't really change the experience from, from uh, play to play. You can run a different gobblegum pack in Black Ops 3 and it'll provide a vastly different experience, but in World War II you can just kind of throw on a flamethrower, you can put on a, a weapon guarantee. I mean, these things might make your life a little easier, but it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to add a huge amount of replay value to your game. So with Black Ops 4 Zombies, I don't even think it's a question that Gumballs will be making a return. If not a Gumball itself, like how we have it in Dr. Monty's Factory, it's going to be something like Gobblegums. But Activision knows how wildly popular that these microtransactions are, and they make a lot of money for them. So if that's going to be the case, and somehow they have to introduce microtransactions to Zombies, regardless of how you feel about it, why not just let them do it with Gumballs or something fun that we all pretty much like? And remember, you're never forced to use these things completely at your own discretion. You don't have to spend a dime on them if you don't want to. But in my personal opinion, if they bring back the Gobblegums from BO3, add in some new ones specifically for Black Ops 4, maybe like doubling the collection, that would add so much replayability to the game and uh, it would give it the life cycle that Black Ops 3 Zombies had. And speaking of replayability, the DLC season this time around is going to be interesting. The, when we talked about earlier how the game is dropping on October the 12th instead of early November is conspicuous because maybe they're setting up for a fifth DLC that isn't going to be so late after like Chronicles was, you know what I mean? That was kind of taking up during the IW season when uh, Chronicles actually came out, but it was hugely successful and still was probably the best selling DLC of all time for COD, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I'm just going to come out and say it right now. I think that the the rest of the unremastered maps that were not in the Chronicles pack or not part of Black Ops 3 as a whole are going to come back at some point during the life cycle of Black Ops 4. Treyarch wants to wrap up their entire season or their entire uh, whole thing that they have going on, their story, all the content that they made in the past eight years of zombies wants to be put on onto next gen consoles. Think about it, we'll have every single zombies map between two games, Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4, which will both be on a next gen console. And if Treyarch is able to pull that off, off, then there is countless different zombies experiences that's at everybody's disclosure. Crazy how early it is, but how much we already know. Granted, this is since it's coming out a month earlier, we, I guess we're getting our teasers and things a month earlier, and all the information's coming out that much sooner, but it's just weird to already be in the Treyarch season hype, you know what I mean? The viral campaign for Black Ops 4 is probably going to start relatively soon, maybe within the next month, and Black Ops 3's viral campaign absolutely killed it, and I know they're going to top it with BO4. What they're going to do, I'm not sure. We're going to have to wait and see. Um, and then when it comes to zombies, actual, like, real information, where Blundell's going to sit down with the crew, they're all going to break down, you know, you know what I'm saying, the Mob the Dead remake and the map on disc, all that kind of stuff is probably going to be announced during the summer. So until then, this seems to be all the information about zombies that we have currently, but when you really think about it, we have a lot to work with, and we know what we can expect when the game does come out. Interestingly enough, you can pre-order Black Ops 4 already at GameStop, but it kind of looks like the box cover is just a placeholder art. I really hope that's not the actual case of it, because, you know what I mean, that's pretty plain, there's nothing really going on there. However, you can place a pre-order already at GameStop, which is, this is the earliest that's ever happened, guaranteed. I don't know why they're, they're going about that at this time maybe they just want to secure people's sales before the release of battlefield or red dead 2 whatever it might be but i would tell you guys right now it's probably not worth it to pre-order as we haven't seen anything yet you know what i mean it'd be different if we have gameplay and we know we can expect but i don't think you should put your money down this is just me saying you shouldn't do it just yet until we at least have some more info or you see what the game looks like i'm not going to pre-order until much much later uh when it gets closer to it but i just thought that was interesting and wanted to let you guys know about that so to re-summarize everything i've discussed i 
think in Black Ops 4 Zombies, in the map on disc, we can expect a lot of innovation. I would say that this is not going to be a classic Zombies experience in the way that we're expecting it to be, or a lot of people are going to expect it to be, but it is still going to be Zombies, and Blundell is going to have our best interest in mind. I'm very excited for the map on disc, because I, I that's what I'm most hyped for, even over Mob of the Dead, because I would like to try something new, you know what I mean? And Mob of the Dead Wall, it's going to be great. It's going to be a classic Zombies throwback. It's going to be remade with some new stuff, so it's going to have a lot of replayability to it. The map on disc, if it's London, or if it's something else, I feel like is the biggest point of interest, at least to me anyway. But let me know inside the comment section what you guys are thinking about Black Ops 4 so far. I want you to let me know if you are more excited for Mob of the Dead or the new map on disc. We're just going to call it London for now as a placeholder name as we don't really know what it's going to be. But we'll be finding that out probably around summer, I would say. And uh, we'll have a, tra a trailer for it before it does come out and, you know, sooner than that. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that a lot. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video. Peace out.